it's a it's a, a Weber box. What do you guys think is in the box? Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right. So, massive, massive, massive shout out to Eric from Baracho Barbecue. He told me that he was going to reach out to Weber and get them to send me something. He told me it was going to be this thing that's in this box. Now, I figured I might as well be here. Let me turn off the notice that I'm sitting on the side of the house making no noise. All right. So he, he said he was gonna get this sent out. And sent out, he did. And sent out, it is. Oh my goodness. So. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting to have to do a little bit of assembly. So, that's cool. That there doesn't seem to be much assembly. But, packaged very well. And, looks like we're almost ready to go. Oh my goodness. Pretty self-explanatory. The ring goes down in the box. Now, oh, I do have to assemble some stuff. Oh, here's the motor. Outdoor rotisserie drive motor. Site. All right, so from past experience, I have, I do have a rotisserie that I, I don't use it very often because it's one that goes on and it, it attaches to a gas grill. So I had it attached to my wife's previous gas grill, but her current gas grill doesn't have the same, I don't know, oomph. I just never hooked it up to that. But I know that you have to take this thing here and you attach it here, and this is basically what holds the motor. And the motor is going to spin this part. So it goes like this and attaches to the motor this way. And here's your hand. screws and then there's some Phillips head screws with some nuts. Let's actually look at the instructions and figure out how to get this done. But I know that the thumb screws are going to go into these. These are like skewers for the rotisserie. No assembly instructions. It's just how to use it. And the good thing is simple enough, and I've done it before, so I know. But it would have been nice for there to be some assembly instructions. 
but it's not. This is just telling you how to use it. Drilling instructions. Absolutely no, <laughs> absolutely no assembly instructions. That's cool, Weber. All right. Like I said, I'm glad I've used some of these before and know what I'm, what I need to do. Sorry. Test tester number two is out in the backyard. Let me go get a Phillips screwdriver. 12 seconds later. All right, so a couple screws, a couple washers, a couple nuts. And like I said, I know that this bracket goes against the ring. So I'm gonna put the washer in with the screw, put it into the bracket here. Put that up against the ring, and we'll get the nut started. Actually, I'm going to take this out and do it the opposite way because it will be easier to tighten the screwdriver from the inside and if the nut is on the outside there's less room to get your hand in here take into it this way so I'm gonna put the flat watch flat Phillips head on the inside and I'll flip this around too I thought about doing this when I looked at it originally but I said I'll be alright but I can't, even though I have a stubby Phillips screwdriver, I couldn't get it into where the bracket is. Now I'm just gonna tighten those up. So now that I have them tightened up, I'm just gonna make sure everything is tight. I'll just snug it down one more time. Now, In the cooking instructions they provided, not the assembly instructions, but the cooking instructions, they tell you that you should put a pan in the middle and a fire on either side of your chicken. So, um, I guess, yeah, chicken. So, yeah. At this point, I don't really have a chicken to put in there. I don't have anything to cook, but I do want to demonstrate that this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little generator and if you haven't seen a little quick review unboxing thing I did, well just a little quick review I did on a generator, I'll post it right up here and if you haven't or don't know about my grill table Charlotte, I'll post a video a link to the video where I put this table together so you can see that as well why am I using the generator just because I'll 
put these on the bar so you can have a visual representation that it is in fact spinning. Thank you so very much. Now, I don't know if I'll be using a generator to run this thing. I don't necessarily need to. Though it will give me an opportunity or the ability to exercise the generator every now and again. But I do have a cord over there that runs to the trigger. If I need to, I can probably just unplug the trigger and plug in the rotisserie. I don't know. We'll see. What? There again is another test of something else that I've tested with the generator to see that it works and it in fact does. It seems to have a pretty decent amount of amount of torque. I'm impressed. So I don't know. I might have to go get something to cook. <laughs> I am. Um, I hadn't really planned on cooking anything today, but some rotisserie lamb might sound good. Hmm. What time is it? Huh. <laughs> All right, guys. Eric, thank you so very much. Eric again from Baracho Barbecue. You can find him on, I don't know if he's on, uh, I don't know if he has YouTube videos, but I know he does have uh, Instagram. So I'll post that. Great, great. Woo! Alright. Eric, thank you so very much. But I think this is pretty dope. I think I might have to go get some lamb. I think I think lamb might be what I wanna cook with it first. Alright. Eric, thanks again. Thank you guys again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. turn that off so you guys can actually hear me thanks again as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe uh, make sure you turn the notification bell on if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you like what you saw today or if you learned something please leave a comment and a thumbs up down below I think that's just about everything I don't think I have anything else but uh, thank you guys again so very much as always for watching I'll see you next time say bye Charlotte Bye, Charlotte. Wait, I have this one outside the house, by the way. This is the dome. Ooh, like this. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh. I need to go get some lamb light right now. <laughs>